everyone i am pujita from talent battle welcome to our new video in this video we are going to check some practice questions for analytical reasoning session for accenture exam as we know accenture is going to hire 2022 batch students this video will help you to prepare for that you can also join our master classes which will cover all the sessions that appear like english ability numerical ability analytical reasoning network security and cloud ms office and common computer applications pseudo code and coding with all the previous year question papers you can also join the master classes by using a coupon code with a discount of 10% the link for that is in the description box so you can also join our social media platforms like telegram group instagram page and whatsapp group we constantly give the updates on placement preparations and off campus placements link for all of this are in the description box so before we start do not forget to subscribe our channel and press the bell icon for instant notifications about our videos so we will start in the following question symbols at the rate and so they gave us some symbols and Uh, are used with different meanings as follows so they gave us the meanings also for examples m uh, hash n means m is not smaller than n like this m dollar n that means m is neither smaller than nor equal to n so now assuming in the following question the given statements to be true find which of the given conclusions given below them is or definitely true and give your answer accordingly so they gave us a statements and they gave the conclusion so we need to identify which of the following conclusion is going to follow now let's take the statements first what the first statement says a dollar b what is a dollar b means a dollar b a dollar b means a is neither small than nor equal to b that means it's not small and it is not equal that means definitely a is greater than b because it is not small and it is also not equal that means a is greater than b by using the first statement we can say a is greater than b similarly a uh, b hash c here that means b is not smaller than c b is not smaller than c means b can be equal to c or greater than c anything is possible you are not supposed to take only greater it can be equal also so in this particular case b can be greater than or equal to c it is not smaller than c and the last one c and d c and d means what c is neither greater nor equal to d that means definitely c is smaller than d it is not greater it is not equal that means c is smaller than d or we can say d is greater than c or c is smaller than d so these are the statements that they gave us now we need to identify which of the conclusion is going to follow so let's take the first conclusion b hash b that means what b is not smaller than d not smaller than d means by using the first one we can say d is not smaller that means d can be greater or equal to d they are asking whether this conclusion is correct or not so how do we get first of all the relation between b and d we need to take this two statements then only i can identify the relation between b and d by using c as common so i know b is greater than or equal to c and we know d is greater than c but can we be able to identify the relation between b and d no we can't be able to identify we know this both are either greater this both are either greater or b might be equal but we can't say any exact relation between this two so b might be smaller than d or d might be smaller than b anything might happen we can't exactly define the relation between this two so statement according to the statements conclusion 1 is not going to follow so let's have a look at conclusion 2 a dollar c what is a dollar c means a is neither small than nor equal to c that means definitely a is greater than c there are they are saying whether a is greater than c or not so how do we check this we need to take the statements 1 and 2 here observe 1 and 2 a is greater than b b is greater than or equal to c that means definitely a is greater than c because 
if b is greater than c for example the first case at that moment also a is greater than c itself because than b it is greater if b is equal to c also b is smaller than a that means uh, again c will be smaller than a also that means any of the case either b is greater or b is equal a will be definitely greater than c that means conclusion 2 is correct so what's the answer for this question only conclusion 2 follows option b so the answer is option b how many digits are there which are immediately followed by a digit divisible by 5 and immediately preceded by a digit divisible by 3 so the clearly said it's a digit divisible by 5 and it's a digit divisible by 3 so firstly what are the digits that are divisible by 5 0 and 5 are the only digits that are divisible by 5 and what are the digits that are divisible by 3 3 6 and 9 only these are the digits that are divisible by 3 now what is our question how many numbers are there so let us just think some digit okay uh, how many digits are there which are immediately followed by the digit divisible by 5 that means after this followed means the next one next one should be either 0 or 5 and preceded preceded means nothing but the before case so the before case should be a this is divisible by 3 that means either 3 6 or 9 so how many are there like this okay so let's try to identify how many digits are there so for example if i i can take two because there is no preceding one uh, so we can't take three also because these are not going to happen so we will concentrate on seven here observe it is followed by five and it is preceded by three that means seven is counted seven is counted so here 6 is also a number a digit which is divisible by 3 for example if i take 5 here it is not followed so this is not counted and again where do we have here see observe here also again 2 it is followed by 5 and it is preceded by 3 that means 2 can be taken so 7 is taken here 2 can be taken here a uh, 6 is there you can't take 8 because the afterwards it is not a digit which is divisible by 5 it should be digit divisible by 5 in the next and in the first position that means nothing but the preceding position it should be a number which is divisible by 3 so 2 is taken and then what else we had for example if you observe this 8 see 8 here the digit divisible by 5 is followed and the digit divisible by 3 is preceded that means 8 can also be counted that's it we don't have anything else so 7 2 and 8 so how many are there three digits are there so what's the answer for this question option a option a read the information given below and answer the question that follows a farmer an engineer a professor a mason and a manager or the five persons seated in a row all of them are facing north the farmer doesn't wish to sit immediately next to the manager or the engineer the manager and the mason sit immediately next to each other the professor is at the right end of the row and the farmer is immediately to the left of the professor who is sitting between the farmer and the manager so now there are total five people let me just place the five persons and they are facing north i'm going to make use of the third statement first because this is a direct hint the professor is at the right end of the row that means immediately i can place the a uh, professor position right so right and miss this side that means the professor is supposed to be here the professor will be here and they clearly said the farmer is immediately to the left of the professor so the left of the professor means this side so farmer will be here so left of the professor is this and right of the professor would be this so the farmer will be here and then now i'm going to make use of the first statement by first because there is a connection with the farmer here i know the position of the professor and farmer that's why i'm making to use the first one now the farmer doesn't wish to sit immediately between the manager or the engineer that means what this particular position the manager or the engineer is not supposed to come in this particular position so if they are not supposed to come then who is left only mason is left correct so only mason should occupy this position if mason is occupying this position the manager and mason sit immediately next to each other that means the mason's next position should be manager if this is manager then what is is left for the engineer this position is left for the engineer now what's our question 
uh, who is sitting between the former and the manager. So what's the answer for this question? Who is between them? It's option B. So the answer is option B. Study the following arrangement carefully and answer the question given below. So they gave us the arrangement given below it. So they gave us the arrangement here. What should come in the place of the question mark in the following series based upon the above arrangement? So they gave us a series also here. So let's try to connect this both first. So where is six? Uh, here it is. Now six after six, it's a hash and then at the eight king. That means six and hash king. Then they removed this particular thing and they gave at the rate and this one. Right. And then P came. That means they removed two, uh, one number and one alphabet. That means they removed two characters, we can say. And then P A come. And then and came. That means they removed three now. And then and came. So uh, and then one came. And then what is the next one? Absorb here. Two as a set, and then they removed one particular character, and then again two as a set, and then they removed two particular characters. First is one character removed, then two characters removed, and then again two as a set, and then three characters are removed. So now again two as a set. Now how many characters should be removed? Four should be removed, right? That means this four should be removed, and that means this two should come now. That means J and star. So what's the answer? Option B. So they skipped or they removed first one then two and then three and then four. So what is the place in the question mark? It is nothing but option D. Thank you for watching the video till the end. If you like the video, do not forget to press the like button and you can also join our social media platforms and to join the master class, the link is in the description box along with the coupon code. Thank you for watching the video.